Well, well, first of all, spoilers alert. I, I talk about this in the in the last chapter of my book. Um, I'm very troubled by this. Imagine a war you cannot win and cannot walk away from. You, you cannot lose it because you'll be, uh, and that's a separate issue, but the Russians forgive a lot, the Russians elite, but I can give you five cases of the regime change in Russia, starting, by the way, with the first Crimean War with Nicholas I, uh, 1853 to 1856, when he lost Crimea to the Turks and the British and the French, uh, died, and his son instituted a, a complete change of the regime, including the liberation of the Serbs. Um, so, so Khrushchev was embarrassed in Cuba in 1962. He was out two years later. Uh, and I could give you all kinds of uh, examples in Russian history. So what do you do? Well, the first thing he counts on is the Ukraine fatigue, as I mentioned. Uh, frankly, uh, Trump scares me because Trump says, oh, I'll finish this war in 24 hours. Well, to finish this war, in the there's only one way to finish it in the 24 hours, and that is to tell President Zelensky, we're no longer supporting you. Go and make peace with, with Putin however you want. We're done with you. I mean, I don't, I don't see any other 24-hour solution. Barring that, um, you know, two can play the, the uh, wait game. Uh, Putin cannot wait forever. I mean, we already see sanctions are not bombs. They, they don't work instantly, but there's inflation. There, there are some shortages. You can find Russian, you, 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 you can fly Russian planes uh, uh, on your own uh, 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 recognizance, as they say, because they're all foreign made and nobody services them anymore. 